Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. I'm Rika from Honeybunny Games and this was my concept for the uh, drill truck, let's call it like that. So basically, um, I actually did find something out, something weird. I, it seems I cannot connect to anything via radio. Uh, okay, I did remove the antenna and remote control from this guy because I was trying to you know, test the stuff from outside. Uh, but yeah, basically the plan was this. Uh, actually, let me drive and show you. Um, I'm just gonna park uh, here near the edge of this thing. Uh, so you can see how this was supposed to work. Okay, so basically I uh, take my keeper thing skip anything, whatever it's called, place it like this. Uh, I was supposed to have the, uh, the the landing gears, I did remove them for some testing and now extend the pistons. Um, this is a great concept, I think, but the physics kinda kill me. Uh, this is not so long, so this will go like 6 to 8 meters, I think. Because there's uh, still a gap between the earth and the and the drill. Here we, we're supposed to have a drill. So I wanted to extend by simply adding some blocks going back. And then another set of pistons. And that thing went haywire. I have no idea. Nothing was clipping. Nothing was in its way. Just went on like crazy. Uh, and you know what? Maybe I could give this thing a test run. Just gonna... Actually, is it this throw? Just gonna finish this guy up. Yeah, I actually want to uh, do it at least once. Uh, but I do have to do something because I s it seems that the pistons are going way too fast. I'm gonna reduce to 0 0.02. Uh, I'm gonna start reversing that thing. Um... Yeah, once it's reversed, I'm gonna place a drill. But in the meantime, uh, here's the thing, here's another idea. I'm gonna have lots of storage containers here. I'm gonna probably add uh, another two sets of wheels. Or maybe remove this one and add two sets of wheels. Um, and then keep this thing and some drills uh, on this side. So basically, it'll be a... I'm not sure how this thing is called. I'm just gonna scratch the surfaces of the terrain. Yeah, that could work actually. And that was actually one of the original ideas I had for mining on the planets. So basically taking layer by layer, you can basically make, uh, you know, a ramp. Just start a few centimeters away and start taking out another layer. That kind of sounds okay, but we're gonna see how will that work out. Yeah, as soon as this thing... Okay, it's almost retracted. I'm just gonna... Um, start moving the rotors. Place the drill. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna remove this guy and then place the drill. Oh yeah, I won't be able to place the drill. I was in this corner because I was trying to, uh, I was trying to, you know, make the another set of pistons, but like I said, the physics went crazy. Okay, can I do it now? Let's see. Yep. Just gonna weld everything up. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. And this tends to happen no matter what. It happened a few times on the creative. It, it keeps happening here. Uh, it's not in the way of something, so it's not... Uh, it's not overlapping. But yet, it happens. And there we go, it's fine. I did rotate it the other way, but still doesn't quite matter because it was fine the first way. 
Uh, I'm just gonna add this drill uh, toggle block on off. It is a bit wonky. But, oh well. Uh, okay. Oh, no. That. Uh, let's, uh, let's head on, head out mining. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, go down the ramp. Slow down a bit, please. It's a bit wonky, I should go slower, but eh, who cares. I'm gonna go r right behind this thing. This guy. Okay, I mean, it was a great idea, but obviously, well, the game is still in its buggy state. It's not gonna happen. Too bad. Okay, now go back. Yeah, so we don't have ugly holes nearby. Lock this thing. Start the 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 rotors. Start the drill in case if we touch the earth. Yeah, yep, there we go. The surface, not the earth. Okay, hopefully this will not go crazy. I'm gonna save just in case and Yeah, let's extend the business Yeah, I, I did have a plans to whoa whoa I think this might not work to have some landing gears here But obviously since the basic idea wasn't working. I didn't go with the With the uh, landing gears. I did have them here already placed and remove them because I kind of thought that was the issue. I think this is way too fast. Uh, I'm going to reduce uh, the speed of the pistons. Man, that's gonna be really slow. Okay, one. Confirm reverse. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna take us quite a time. So basically this is going like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 meters per second. I think that's kind of too, way too fast. So let me actually uh, reduce it to 0, 5. Confirm, reverse. That's just minor tweaking I was supposed to do anyway. But look at this thing, it's actually working just gonna take some stone so it does so it has more space I'm gonna leave it here okay let me see how is this thing going eh, it's fine I mean it's it, it is wobbling a bit Whoa, it is wobbling a lot, and yeah, that's the reason I saved the game. I'm gonna try and turn off this thing. Okay. So we had a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, obviously, if I did have landing gears, this wouldn't happen, but but like I said, I didn't have them because the whole concept was, well, bad. Whoa, that's a big hunk of stone. Okay, well, you guys are uh, retracting. Um, you know what, I'm not sure if I should try and flip you or go with a straight new design. I think I'm gonna go with a new thing. So yeah, basically this thing doesn't work as intended and you know what, maybe I should try... Yeah, I didn't place the gyroscope because it was pretty darn stable. It, it, the vehicle is stable. Uh, this thing, the, the drill was the problem. You know what, I think I'm just gonna try and save it with this guy. I should make a smaller rescue vehicle. Flying rescue vehicle. I was saying that like forever but yeah uh, okay let's go uh, 
Okay, we're close. Okay, okay, okay. How do I want to do this? I'm gonna try and grab this thing, the rotor thing. Okay, close. Oh, I have it. What the... Yeah, I'm gonna reload the game. I'm sorry, I usually don't do this, but... Obviously, this is not my fault. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back, uh, and look at this thing. It auto-saved, or did I save right here? Um, so here's another thing. I'm gonna try and actually flip it from this side. Yeah, I only have four trusses on, this, on the sides. That's design flaw. Okay, a bit down. Maybe I should use atmospheric thrusters. But then again, we don't have very strong atmosphere here, so not sure if that would do any good. Whoa! And are we going to fall? Yes, we are. That's good. That's good. And yeah, saved. Whoa! Whoa! I can fly at this angle. So let me park this thing back. Uh, I have a landing pad here. Yeah, I do have a landing pad. Okay. Just gonna land it nice and soft. Nice and soft. And there we go. Turn on the recharge, turn off the thrusters. And we are good to go. Okay, let's get back to our failure thing. Okay, come on. Yeah, this thing will obviously not work anymore, and I don't frankly care about that. Okay, now it is a bit wonky. What's going on? Let's just keep moving. I do really apologize about the saving and reloading, but this thing somehow, well, not somehow, buggy, destroyed like half of my main ship, basically the only ship, oh man, that's sad, uh, so yeah, obviously it doesn't make any sense, and I really didn't want to go through all that again, but I hope you guys won't mind. Uh, let's just go back. I'm gonna destroy everything except the rotor part. Okay. I was right here. Whoopsie. That was close to the edge. And yeah, stop. Okay, so here's the thing destroying all the pistons. Okay, check. Go. And it's a good thing uh, they actually improved the jetpack. Basically, it's not using so much fuel, which makes a lot of sense because on Earth you could fly for like a few seconds and that's it, we're done. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna get these two guys. And you know what? I think I'm gonna get the whole frame out. I have to keep it connected because I don't want to screw up with the merge blocks again. Yeah, uh, you can see I have two rotors. I had to use the merge blocks to actually uh, connect the, the damn thing because the, by default they will not connect. That are two separate parts of the ships. So yeah, that's not happening unless you use merge blocks. Okay, now the backup idea is to have plenty of uh, cargo containers here in this area where I'm standing, flying at, um, and have the drills back and do the surface scraping like I said. I'm just gonna uh, switch the rotors, I'm gonna, whoopsie, uh, 
empty my inventory. I don't need scrap. Uh, I probably won't need so many of these guys. I won't need radio communication. And reactor. Yeah, I'm going to leave the reactor components. Okay, just destroy this thing. And you know what? Um, this episode I basically showed you that this concept will not work unless... Well, it could work maybe on a big ship. I have to try that, but I don't have the materials. I didn't try in creative because I obviously couldn't replicate that here. But maybe it could work. I'm gonna have to see about that. But right now, obviously, it doesn't work. Uh, I'm gonna go with the second design in the next episode because we are running out of time. But yeah, this will be it. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, and see you next time.